after a long hiatus i'm back and today we'll be talking about projectile motion this question has previously come in the year 2022 sorry 2021 so how do you go about such a question let's visualize the problem first so We have a body undergoing projectile motion. Now, such a body will have, so if you read the question, it says a projectile is projected with a velocity 25 meters per second. So the initial is 25 meters per second at an angle theta. With the horizontal so the vertical component will be 25 cos theta and the horizontal component will be 25 sine theta now at the maximum height the inclination is 0 that is at time t so at time t where the inclination is 0 it will still have horizontal velocity 25 cos theta and at that maximum height inclination is 0 now the time taken to reach the maximum height is given by u sine theta over g now in projectile motion the time taken to go up is same as the time taken to come down so this means that the total time taken by the body to complete its trajectory is 2u sin theta by g now the range that it travels it can be given by the following If we see the total time for which this object was in that trajectory was 2t so it undergoes 25 cos theta acceleration in the horizontal direction for time 2t now let's consider this one to be equation one this one to be equation two so now if we observe that r by t or rather small t is equal to now this u sine theta that i wrote here is basically 25 sine theta so it's coming to like 25 cos theta into 2t over 25 sine theta and this g can go up here now of course this and this is cancelling so we are left with simply caught 2 t and g is 10 so in other words we are left with 20 i mean this, this is caught theta so we are left with 20 t caught theta now we cut the options, we have a cot inverse here and again we need to find the angle theta so what we could do is from this we can infer that r by 20t square 
So basically you bring the t square here down here is equal to what? Theta therefore theta is equal to cot inverse of by twenty t square. That is option number D. So thank you. This is how you could approach a problem of this.